So I've got an antenna for us to uh, take a look at today. Now I have had these antennas for quite some time and the original seller over on uh, Alibaba uh, isn't uh, a registered seller anymore so I don't know what's gone wrong there but I've had these probably since spring last year and uh, I picked them up for a uh, project that uh, somebody asked me to do uh, to distribute uh, Wi-Fi through uh, quite a large house but um, I tested these very quickly and although they had a good VSWR they were just uh, a poor performing directional antenna and I put them to one side and I uh, forgot all about them I uh, used something else in the end for that particular installation but uh, I thought it'd be interesting to uh, take a look at these I've never opened one up and uh, I've just come across them today tidying up so I thought it might be interesting to see why these are such a poor antenna and uh, you know they have got uh, a really really good VSWR so I'm not sure what's inside here whether it's some kind of panel antenna or not I don't know so uh, let's uh, open one of these up and see what's going on on the inside so let's pry the case open then so we can take a look at the inside it looks like there's a, a PCB in there and there we go and uh, yeah um, aluminium foil as a reflector not connected to anything it's not going to do uh, much of a great job as a reflector at all so basically this is omnidirectional as it is but uh, the design as well I've uh, seen this design previously it's a uh, Hertzian dipole design and a uh, good designed one of these should give about uh, 4.5 to 5 dB of gain I wasn't getting that with uh, this particular design but uh, I was looking at it as a uh, directional antenna and uh, because this aluminium foil here isn't grounded it's uh, still going to be omnidirectional you, you're going to have uh, such a poor front to back ratio it's basically going to be virtually 50 50 with such a uh, thin piece of aluminium foil and even if this was grounded it's not going to you know be much of a reflector anyway so let's uh, get some measurements on this and uh, i'll explain why it is a uh, hertzian dipole and see if we can improve this in any way because as i said this design it's pretty capable as an omnidirectional antenna it should give almost 5 db of gain so i'm just checking uh, continuity and it seems that both sides of the element are connected to each other and uh, if memory serves uh, one of these should be ground so this side should be just ground and uh, the opposite side the uh, main driven element i don't think they're supposed to be uh, connected like that but uh, it, i may well be wrong but uh, what I'm going to do is desolder this away from the PCB so we can take a closer look at the PCB itself. Uh, there's a via running through the back here onto here and I'm presuming uh, that's going to be uh, connected to ground. And um, this here, possibly the uh, driven element part of this design, but uh, as I say, I'm not sure this should be connected, although this here may well be the uh, connecting line but let's desolder this and take a closer look so now that we've got it desoldered we can see this a little bit more clearly now so basically this is the ground feed here and this feeds through to the opposite side through this uh, via just here so this is uh, the ground element and uh, the main driven element is this here and again this uh, sweeps back here down here and that's probably adding the uh, capacitive element to this I still think these uh, are balanced here but uh, basically both elements are connected through this uh, via here at the top of this uh, ballon here this feed point there so basically that grounds them both together now I haven't seen a uh, design quite like that before I have come across this design as I said and uh, that's why I recognized it straight away as a uh, Hertzian dipole but uh, I'm just wondering why they basically got that via there to uh, connect the two elements together I'm not uh, quite sure about that but uh, I think it might be interesting if I uh, remove that connection there just uh, drill out the 
via so uh, both elements aren't connected and then uh, add this back in again with the two solder points here and here had a decent reflector to this and see if it makes any difference to the uh, performance of this antenna it might not i don't know but uh, it may, may also um, make the vswr worse because as i said at the beginning this has got a uh, pretty good vswr but uh, let's do that modification we've got a few to play around with anyway and see if we uh, improve it any so this is the uh, reflector that i've shaped here out of uh, the lid of an old cookie tin and uh, basically i've got a little feed leg here i've got it bent over here at the uh, side there so you can see there how we're going to connect this to ground now so basically the pcb will slide underneath there like so and then i can solder this down onto there and uh, that'll be permanent permanently connected to the ground there and then i can solder the coax back in here ground here and then uh, the main driven element uh, soldered there and you can see the uh, space we've got between uh, the reflector and the element just let me get a ruler and pop it in there and it's about eight millimeters uh, spacing i mean I, I don't know how i'd uh, possibly be able to uh, extend that i mean the optimum is uh, around 14 millimeters so eight seven it's uh, half that so it uh, should work just fine but uh, let's uh, solder that down solder everything back in place and then we'll give this a test uh, you know alongside one of the unmodified ones and see if we've improved things any so let's give this a scan then first of all i've got uh, an original one that's been untouched so you can get a good idea of what these can do without any modification they are pretty poor forget about the first two signals because basically uh, one of them is here in the lab with me and the other one is not too far away but uh, i'm just holding it here and you can see it's pretty poor it's not picking up much at all and move it around a little bit pick up a few more but basically that's not good at all a little uh, 2.5 db uh, rubber duck dipole would do better than that so let's put the modified one on then and see if that's uh, improved things a little bit so here's the modified one then forget about the first two signals as i say but uh, i don't think we've improved things much i mean uh, we're not picking up uh, the access points and that second access point is a pretty poor signal stream so something we've done has made it worse not uh, improved it so i think it's uh, time to take it back to the bench and uh, see if we can figure out what we did wrong with this modification so as you saw this modification turned out uh, pretty poorly so let's backtrack now and see if we can uh, find out uh, what we did wrong and uh, i'm kind of thinking that the uh, reflector wouldn't have uh, hurt that much i'm uh, kind of thinking that the reflector is still the way to go and grounded to the uh, ground plane so what i'm thinking is is uh, that uh, because we removed that via and didn't have the two elements connected that uh, somehow that's uh, messed with the mathematics of this design and uh, produced that poor performance now because we've got a few of these i'm just going to swap it out with this one here of course i could just put a uh, piece of copper wire through there and solder it up and uh, reconnect that via but because we've got a few to play with i'm just going to swap this one out for speed so here we go with the second attempt then and uh, looking back uh, possibly i should have uh, done this uh, as my first attempt uh, put the uh, reflector on here grounded to the ground plane and see how that improved things but um, i would have thought that you know removing that veer there and having the two separate elements would have performed better but obviously not with this design so let's put this back together again and give it another scan and see uh, what it produces this time so let's give this another go then with uh, the uh, via left in place i think we can already just see that uh, it's performing a little bit better than last time So I think that design is uh, a pretty poor design. I'm not really even happy with it after I've modified it. So for the last test then, I've uh, gone with the simplest and uh, haven't modified uh, the uh, antenna in any way. All I've done is replace the aluminium tape 
with uh, a piece of brass it's about 1.5 millimeters thick so uh, let's see uh, what happens with this then and see if we can improve over one that's just got that aluminium tape on i mean uh, it should do in theory the uh, brass here should uh, be a much better reflector but uh, it kind of goes against what i normally say and that you should always try and ground uh, your uh, reflector and that is true it will reflect more rf if it's grounded but uh, let's give this a go then and see if uh, that does the trick so here we are then let's give uh, this a scan see how well this performs and we're getting quite a few there we've got uh, the bomb care signal which is uh, just around here that's at 42 percent remember I try to aim for about 50% with uh, most directional antennas that I uh, build here in the shop. But yeah, it certainly uh, has improved things. But again, you know, it's not going to break any records or win any kind of awards, not with this performance. So, a pretty uh, disappointing antenna, and uh, it does have. A really nice case though but uh, as a directional antenna that aluminium tape isn't going to uh, do much at all to uh, make one of these uh, directional and uh, this design uh, which is a uh, Hertzian dipole uh, type design I don't think this was ever designed to be uh, turned into a uh, directional antenna you know I mean you can get away with uh, the little rubber duck antennas and you can uh, use the windsurfer or uh, just a, a sheet of uh, aluminium tin foil folded over a few times to uh, get a bit more gain out of that if you've got a low signal somewhere and uh, that's probably uh, what they're doing with this is uh, with that aluminium tape there just to get a little bit more uh, forward gain out of this but uh, you know the aluminium tape isn't going to do much and I don't think uh, this particular design was ever to designed to uh, you know do something like that so pretty useless really but they are a really nice case so what i was thinking to do with these cases is to uh, design a uh, panel antenna for uh, 5 gigahertz wi-fi and i've got a little mock-up here so you can uh, see the size that we're talking about here and uh, use a uh, solid piece of copper or brass for the uh, back reflector and etch out on uh, some PCB a design that I've got for a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi panel antenna and each element is uh, around this size here so we can fit four on and uh, produce something that's around uh, 14 dB uh, you know a directional uh, panel antenna for uh, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and uh, they will fit inside this case rather nicely so I think what I'm going to do is uh, do a future video where uh, I etch onto some PCB the uh, elements and uh, we'll give that a go and uh, see what we can produce uh, on the uh, 5 gigahertz range and as I say the cases are quite nice and if we can swap uh, out these PCBs here which are uh, next to useless as a uh, directional antenna and produce something a little bit more useful I think uh, you know that will be the way to go because they are nice cases so I hope you enjoyed the video and it just goes to show the uh, quality control you get with these uh, cheaper antennas I mean you can drop on sometimes and get uh, you know quite a good quality uh, nice working antenna but uh, nine times out of ten especially on a site like uh, Alibaba uh, you've got to be really careful and uh, as a few comments um, done in uh, a previous video some people have said you know you're lucky to actually get something on the inside of these and I have uh, been tweeted uh, to me uh, a few pictures recently where people have got uh, you know antennas like this and uh, USB cards where there's uh, actually nothing on the uh, inside at all even uh, a directional sorry a, a rubber duck uh, dipole antenna that's been hot glued onto the side of a uh, wi-fi adapter that's not connected to anything so you know it can be quite amusing but i mean if you're buying something like this and you're wanting to use it for its uh, stated purpose you know uh, i'd look somewhere else and pay that little bit extra money and get something that's uh, a little bit more quality wise but i think we can resurrect the cases definitely and produce a uh, 5 gigahertz uh, panel antenna uh, definitely uh, do something like that
So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a uh, thumbs up. Any comments or questions, drop them below. And uh, hopefully, you'll join me on the next one.